Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle. Let's talk about Hunter Labrada. In particular, the massive improvements that he made from the Muscle Pro, Flex Pro, Italy, whatever you call it, to the Olympia. Remember he competed at that Muscle Pro, what was it, five weeks? Was it that long? Well, he had five weeks to improve, and everybody was saying, oh, he dropped the ball, he's not going to be any good come Olympia time. Well, there was other factors that pushed him, or I guess kept him at a sixth place finish at the Olympia. But I think he did look awesome. I think he is a 110% better. Whatever he did, he did it right. I mean, at that Flex Pro Italy, uh, yes, the lighting was bad. You can definitely see that. But I mean, come on. You can't add lighting and make... The arms look twice as big. Look at that. Look at the arms. Look at the lats. Look at the lats. They look different altogether because he's pulling a vacuum, if you can imagine that one. Now he was hiding that little baby. I guess he didn't want to do that at the Flex Pro Italy, what have you. Now he is veiny. I noticed that he had a lot of vascularity all over those quads. But he is much more refined, much more cut. And just more polished, a better, 110% better version here at the Olympia. So not too many people, just because he got sixth. Martin Fitzwater, I mean, he was he was on, he, he, he was the talk of the town. So less people were talking about, oh, here's the next pose. Less people were talking about Hunter Labrada and the improvements that he made. Now this pitcher here sucks. No, you can blame the lighting. You can blame the pitcher on this one. It's pan back. Can't really see, but he does look. Looks funny. He's flat as a pancake. <laughs> looks wide, though. The lats look higher. The lats look higher inserted, and they kind of did in that front double, if you notice that. Look at the color difference. He is spray tanned to perfection. I popped him in the oven. He is rouge. Turn to the side here. And there is certain pictures like that front lat spread like this side chest they're not the clearest shots in town so you know it's not the exact it's not an exact science you can't see the exact difference in the the okay, care the angle is about the same the angle is about the same but like i said not really much you're going to be able to tell using this picture here from the flex pro italy or muscle pro pro muscle pro I think there's two pros. Now the side tricep. This is a good picture. This is a clear picture from that event. And you can clearly see he is in much better condition. Look at the wheels. Look at the cuts. I mean, yeah, the, the lighting. You could say it's the lighting all day long, but you can't, you know, you can't fake those big cuts in the quads. You can definitely see that. Yeah. Upper body looks fantastic for both versions. This side tricep, maybe one of the best in the IFBB going right now. Hmm, would be a good idea for a video. Who's the best hitting the mandatory shots? Hmm? Now I could say that his tricep is bigger at the Olympia, but he is tilted. He's opening up more at the Flex Pro. So, or Muscle, muscle Pro, whatever. <laughs> does it really matter, does it? Does it, fellers? What matters is these back shots. That's what really matters in life, right? Well, not when it comes to this event, whatever you want to call it. It was a Yamamoto, I think it said. It was a Yamamoto Flex Pro Italy muscle. Uh, the lighting, it was terrible for the back shots in particular. You can't see the lower back. But you can kind of make out the silhouette here. Look at his traps. Look at his traps. You can definitely see he's more conditioned. He tightened it up. But it was five weeks before the Olympia, so he was five weeks out. That's all. That's all it was. Five, five weeks out, Hunter Labrada defeats a... Who was it? Andrea Presti? I think it was. But yes, you can see he's just more peeled. And he looks nice and filled out, too. He's carved up, whatever, what have you, what have you. But yes... Most certainly, he's smoother. Blame the lighting all day long, guys, but it is little too smooth, monsoon. 
too smooth. What about the rear double? What about the rear double? It's about the same thing here. The silhouette looks better. Everything just looks a whole lot crisper. And when you are getting ready for a competition, before you get the little refinements all perfect, dieting all done, what have you, and the carved up process, you're probably not going to look 100%. And in those five weeks, it can make a huge difference. But it is too gosh darn bad that we didn't have good lighting. Because I don't think that these pitchers do this any justice. I think the hamstrings, even the glutes, even though Hunter Labrada, he's not a glute man per se. But he, I think he tightened up quite a bit. A sub, sub substantial, substantial amount. And then I go and spoil it all by showing an abs and thigh. Look at his belly. Hmm. So I was wrong the whole time? The Olympia, he's definitely a little bit... Is, is the timing wrong? Is the, if, it's, if it's just the timing, then I apologize. But his, his stomach looks nice and flat at the Flex Pro. And a little bit of a cassis. So this pitcher does not jive with all the other ones? Or what? what what's going on here? Okay, okay. I'll let the meow meow out of the sack. He is at the finals at the Olympia. And if you didn't know, he really he did not look as nearly as good. Him and Rafael Brandeo, they were the same. One and the same. They did not look as good during the finals. So it is a little unfair at the end of the day. But kudos to the Pro Muscle Pro. That's what it is. Pro Muscle Pro. <laughs> Under Labrada. Here's the most muscular foolishness, foolishness. Yes. Meow. See? See the abs? See? Look at the chest. Meow. That's my Edward G. Robinson. Even the traps. See? Yeah, he's, he's just 110% better. There's no lighting. Well, yeah, the lighting is better, but that's... My point is... He is just ready, and he is five weeks out at that Flex Pro. So that's all he did. Why did he do it? Well, he wanted to qualify for the Olympia. <laughs> and he needed to. So this is kind of the, the best bet for these guys that are pretty sure that they're going to beat Andrea Presti no matter what, even if they do come in a little bit soft. But I'm telling you, Guys like Presti, you really got to watch them. He was a little bit softer here. He would have lost. He would have lost, and it would have been a huge error in Hunter Labrada's thinking game plan. But he definitely did enough. He was awesome. He was pretty good. Not bad at all. And he was even better at the Olympia. But sadly, it just was not his year that continuous thorn in his side and Andrew jacked and man oh man old leapfrogger there or Martin Fitzwater uh, the leapfrog air but anyway Hunter Labrada much better five weeks it's not hard guys if you're a top pro like Hunter Labrada that is be hard possible for normal people like me some of you guys some of you guys aren't normal you guys are Big jacked up horses, arms bigger than tree trunks, legs as elephant legs, things of that nature. Uh, anyway, hit thumbs up, whether you have stick legs, dandelion spores, or tree trunks as legs. Have a nice one, guys.